Uh, Nick. Uh, so, welcome, those of you who trickled in, welcome to the um, USA Southeast Regional Judge Conference. Uh, what we like to do, ideally, is when we have these, just give you guys a little bit of information about what's going on in the region. Uh, so this is some t statistics that I was able to pull uh, from Judge X itself. Um, so currently, as of when I made this PowerPoint, um, we have about 330 judges in our region. Uh, the majority of those are L1s. Um, show of hands here, who's an L1? Ooh, L2s? I know we got we got some good showings. Um, <laughs> um, we have 55 L2s. Um, with that, we have one uh, L2 tester, who is uh, Nick Zimmer, who uh, just stepped out. And we have uh, one person with the uh, day two team lead check, uh, which is Misha over here. Um, and we have, uh, we have four, active, four to five active L3s. Um, and we have six that are in our region. Um, uh, ben McDole, from those of you who know, have, has actively stepped down, but he's kind of still in Judge X. Um, and uh, we'll see where Returner moves from here, whether or not he'll, he'll be able to, with RC kind of off of his plate, start to become more active in the region as well. Um, so there are four of us. Uh, we do have a spear lead, as, um, which is uh, Brian Coleman, and then uh, Jess here is a panel lead, so he has the ability to lead the panels that sort of bind you L3 judges. Um, from 2017, during that year, uh, we've had 39 new L1s created, uh, which is great for our region. That's a huge growth. Um, we've had two new L2s, um, and I think a lot of the a lot of the uh, growth happened at the very end of last year. We had a conference towards the end, uh, and so that kind of tilts things in our favor. And there are some people who have moved out of region as well. Um, but as you can see, we're doing really good on our growth for L ones, and you know we want to make sure that we continue our growth for uh, L twos. So. Um, stats by states, uh, as you can see, we've got some number of, um, we've got 5 L2s, 13 L1s in Mississippi, 4 L2s, 28 L1s in Alabama, 5 L2s, uh, 20 L1s in South Carolina, um, we have 2 L3s, 16 L2s, 50 L1s in Georgia, and 4 L3s, um, 25 L2s and 151 L1s in Florida. 152, correct. Um, so, we've got a big region, uh, and some of it's spread out, and some of it is very condensed. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit later about you know what we want to do to try to uh, even out that growth. But um, it. It's good for us to know numbers, but we don't really have a good way of seeing our, our activity within the region. Um, so one of the things that I pulled up was our, and this is gonna go slow apparently, um, our proxy for activities are our exemplar stats. Um, so we have, um, I took out the L3s um, for a number of reasons. One, the L3s are traveling to more events um, and also uh, that some of their slots are, are going to people who are not only the ones that they're receiving, but the ones that they're giving are going to people outside of the region. So I wanted to focus on in the region. Um, what that means is, as you can see, um, our wave, oh, the number of uh, exemplars that we have given has been, has been rising. Um, you can see the number that we've received overall has sort of gone down low. Uh, we had a really big bump that's kind of, uh, an outlier, but between the two. And what this is really showing us is that um, our L2s and our L1s are starting to go out and meet other judges, right? We're starting to see great things that judges are doing in other areas, um, which is great. That means we're, we're using all of our slots. Um, L2s, how many of you guys nominated people um, that are outside of the region? A couple of us, right? So it's. It's one of those things where as you start to go to more events, you'll start to see that you'll meet people in different areas and move forward. Um, 
But what we want to do is we want to make sure we're seeing the good that the L1s and L2s in our region are doing as well. Um, so we're doing a really good job of getting out there, uh, getting ourselves known um, outside of the region. We want to also make sure we're focusing within the region to get to see all the wonderful things that our L1s and our L2s are working on. Um, well, yeah, I talked about that. We need to find new ways to um, be able to make sure we're seeing and highlighting those great things. Uh, so yeah. coming in 2018, um, like I said, we are going to have a new regional coordinator. Um, that selection process will happen within the next month or two. Um, one of the things that uh, the L3s and the regional leadership have been talking about is the idea of area captains. If you guys remember the map, um, you can see that you know Alabama, South Carolina, Mississippi all kind of have roughly the same amount of people. Uh, and then Florida is you know, three times as many and Georgia is twice as big. Uh, and so one of the things we were kicking around, and obviously this is gonna have to, um, it's one of the things we wanna get feedback on you guys from, uh, it's something that a lot of regions do but we don't, um, is setting up those area captains so we have, you know, without maybe one per state for uh, Alabama, Mississippi, and South Carolina, maybe two in Georgia, one for the Atlanta area, one for, you know, uh, either Macon, Savannah-ish, uh, and maybe three for Florida, you know, Gainesville and up, no, down to the lake thing, yeah. right. Um, and, and what we're hoping to do, uh, and what we want to accomplish, is we want to set up a situation where either a new judge or an L1 that's wanting to get their feet um, and get acclimated has a way to reach out, has somebody more local that they can talk to, um, that maybe if they've never been to a larger event or they've never been to a conference, they still have somebody that's local to them, uh, that they know where to go, they know the region better. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know a ton of what's happening in South Carolina, right? It's Or, or in the very south of Florida. And so um, one of the things we want to do is make sure that the what we're doing and the decisions we're making for the region itself is taking into consideration the entire region and not just our heavily populated areas. Because I can tell you, you know, the, the L3s can tell you about Central Florida or, you know, Tampa, Orlando, and Atlanta. But if we're making decisions, we don't want to just care about Tampa, Atlanta, and, and you know, um, Orlando. We want to care about everybody and make sure that, that we're doing the right thing for everything. Um, so that's one of the reasons. Uh, other things that are going to be coming that um, I wanted to, we've had some mini conferences that have started to pop up. Uh, ideally, we'd love to see more of these. Um, mini conferences are great. If you haven't read the article on it, there's an article online. I'll try to post that as well. Uh, but if you guys are interested in hosting um, either mini conferences, another regional conference like this, or just monthly meetups, um, we've tossed around the idea there are a ton of for example, Atlanta judges that we all kind of see each other at events, but how often do we actually get to see and hang out? And um, one of the things is we want to make, we want to help you guys feel like you're part of a region, not just I'm this store's judge, but I'm, I'm a Southeast judge, and, and, and to be proud of that, um, because that means something. 